Hello, everyone. I, we're back. I'm S. I don't know what happened. I'm T. And, uh... We got lost in the warp. We yeah, we got, we got lost in the warp. We were looking for our house for a while. Finally found it. And, uh, we're back to attack Cronus. Well, you gonna tell them what actually happened, or...? Uh, our computer, it got, became summer, summer here in the wonderful Valley of the Sun in Arizona. And our computer would get so hot it just shut off. And then we would blank it up over the window and we barricaded all the windows and doors and have an air conditioning running at full capacity. Like three of them. We are back in action, everyone. We're back and better than ever. Yeah, my uh, sexy man voice is sexier than it was before. We practiced, and by practiced I mean we're just pretty we're awesome. The third is catacombs. We're always gonna die. You're right, and no one will miss you. With your I, stupid ponytails. I certainly won't. So have the honor of being killed by robot zombies. So for being the Necrons like being like that's just a still shot background. I don't know how I feel about that. Well that's not still shot that's not. It's all painted. Okay, so look at that. Like look at the left and then look at the right and trying to kinda look at where they meet in the middle. Uh, I mean, the left is actually a really cool scene, you know? Yeah. Oh my god, they have a nose piercing? Yeah, yeah, they all do. Yeah. So why are the Necrons the coolest thing in Warhammer, but the also most underused? Because they advance the block. Because they legitimately cast trouble, because there's nothing to possess, and there's nothing to uh, sway, and there's... They just kill things. Nothing to fool. So yeah, you know, just to fight them head to head, and these guys are actually threatening because they've got like silent modifiers and things like that. You know, anti mad Basically, they have, they have to spell magic in D and D terms. They have to spell magic, and they're dangerous. And ultimately, no one else is dangerous, so it'd be just a clash between the two dangerous factions. With ultimately chaos winning because they just have infinite numbers, and these guys don't. But why doesn't chaos just kill everyone already? Like, because get around to that. Are they ever gonna get around to that, or are they just like, I nah. don't know, man. Now they're never gonna get around to it. Is chaos just like, uh, I, I, I don't, I don't, I don't feel it. I'm not feeling it right now. Uh, Let's try again, ten thousand years. When, when the Imperium stops being, you know, everything chaos wants, hopes and dreams, then I will get rid of them and replace them with some another thing like the Imperium. Endless war, lot population centers with no medicine, nobility who are as corrupt and decadent as anyone. And constant change and plotting. Between, like, just every faction plotting something, somehow, somewhere. But not actually doing anything. But not actually doing anything. But still changing. Just not changing the important bits. You know, the. The important The, 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 the broken machine at the end yes. of the day. It's still broken. Zine, Zine said he likes change, but, you know, there's always there's reasons for it. Boys with a Z. Boyos. Bozos. Listen up, boyos. You gotta kill them dudes. You gotta just shove them down those ro there's, uh, robot zombie dudes' throats. Now listen here, boyo. Alright, Mr. Gretchen. Alright, we're going to have- you're gonna have to capture the points because you're just gonna need- you're just gonna need money. You need to spend that- spend your dollars on the bills. Yeah. Bills with a Z. Don't stop saying dumb stuff. Uh, well, we're doing it orc style. Boys. With a Z. I hate Zs. Nice to put, you, nice to say that you put the banner way the hell out there, guys. It was very nice of you. Thanks. We appreciate it. Why don't you just put it right there? Don't ask, don't ask questions. Now you want to build all your generators and all that, too. Because you know. Build it right up for you. Do I want to get stuck in the, in the boys? Uh, I'm just not looking forward to doing this mission like a dozen more times. Well, I'll, I'm doing them. I'm doing about doing them about half. I mean, I can do the towel if you want. No, I'm doing the towel. Yeah. All right. Well, so after the orcs, who do I got left? Like, what's left? Mm, we haven't. Done, well, I'm doing the space marines and the imperial guard. So that leaves me like just the. Towel. I think you just have the towel. I'm just gonna go to their main base and plant the bombs yeah, and I'm just gonna leave. Yeah, we've already done all the side stuff before. It doesn't really change anything. That's the problem with this game. There's no, there's no bonuses. No, it's not any better anyway. 
if you, I mean, your secondary doesn't, it doesn't do anything. It doesn't even does the commander anything. actually need to get there? Uh, he does. He has to survive the whole time. That's fine. That's fine. So Gorguts has to, like, live. Well, he's, like, the strongest hero in the whole game, so I'm not too worried. Yeah, Gorguts is the only guy to ever fail consecutively, but also still I'll be alive while doing it. Let's not, let's he's not basically, like, abandoned the spoiler. He loses every time he does something. But he's still always back for dude again. I, mean, I guess, I might win I guess if, if plot didn't make them fail so much, they actually have some pretty solid ideas and like powers, you know. But uh, yeah, abandon and uh, roar guts. But they just eh, plot demands. They don't really ever do anything. It's sad, but it is what it is. You know? All the plot demands. Do I have one of these? I don't think so. No. You're gonna need more uh, generators. Yeah. You're just gonna get infrastructure up and running, and then you'll just be solid. Let's get tougher bosses and more Daka and better Daka. Last dear, I hate the words, the names for these, though. I, I don't really like the orcs, period, so I don't know. I don't like the design. They're just kind of a joke faction, really. I mean, they, they try to play off uh, very much a joke faction as a serious faction, but they're not. They don't really fit. Yeah. Oh, man, well, what a grim, dark universe. You got mentally retarded green things. <laughs> mentally <laughs> deficient. They, it's not grim, dark for them. They enjoy it. They're like everything good for them. Everything golden. Now, if you want a grim, dark for these guys, go back to the way things were and everyone was powerful and just kind of brushed them off. They just, they just died and they didn't fight. They just had to, like, fight each other. It was boring, you know? Because every time somebody had wanted, like, they had a jungle planet and the humanity just kind of looked over and were like, you know, this could be a corporation. I'm like, oh, that, I want that for the teak. You know, I need, new, I need a new, I need better furniture. I need a new chair. I need mahogany. I need mahogany. I need a new desk. Uh, get rid of these things. Giant death robot. Or just like, here, have a super plague. I, I heard you guys like super plagues. And you die. I mean, my, my problem is with the orcs is that for something that's supposed to be serious and grimdark, these are not serious. These are not serious or grimdark because when something is too stupid to breathe, then death usually isn't like something that they. Well, they don't have anything. They haven't lost anything. They've gained more now, just a senseless violence, than just anything. Well, because senseless violence is all they want, it's all they have, it's all they ever want. So it's like, well, well, what's the point? Uh, what, what, what's, where's the sad story for... They ex I mean, everyone else has a sad story. The Necrons have lost their humanity. The Eldar have lost everything and are living on a prayer, basically. The Imperium has lost everything, including competence. Sad day. The Tau, ex well, the Tau are supposed to be, in my opinion, a foil. They were supposed to be the up-and-comers, right? They hadn't lost anything. They were gaining everything. They were like the new people on the block. Still filled with hopes and dreams and aspirations amongst the tiled old men that the universe was, right? As they were and then they became little... basically just Borg. I mean, they're supposed to be like the, you know, wide-eyed, starry-eyed, basically Star Trek Federation. We're like, we are into space. But now, who's the Borg? And now they're just a Borg because they're ruled by, despite them not being able to be psion psionic, they, they're ruled by basically a psionic group of theorists who control the entire race uh, somehow magic crystals or pheromones or something is never explained pheromones D yeah because what if you can't smell what if you get an injury and you can't smell anymore it, you know, i don't know they did brainwashing and genocide and stuff and it's just like it, it's not what they were originally and it, it doesn't make them it just makes them redundant the orcs already commit genocide. Chaos already kills entire groups and sacrifice. I mean, they're already scared enough. You don't need to add just annoying people with plasma guns. Like, you don't, you don't, you know, we, we don't, we don't need like fake Asians. And they're not even threatening because they can't even warp travel. They're, they're threatening if to like a frontier planet. But the, uh, the, the right, the right frontier. But if if the if the Imperium ever just mustered the give a shit, they just die. Because the Imperium can control their planets, and Kit still has the might to actually just annihilate the two systems they hold. Because their fleet is still not better than the warp traveling Imperial fleet. There's just not. There's just not enough. There's just not enough Tau. The Tau just can't 
put enough of them. There's just not enough bodies. Yeah. And the super soldiers, you know, actually have armor that's mo meant to absorb plasma. So, you know, they're actually pretty good. And plus, if you want to, you can start fist fighting a tower. It turns out they're not really that scary. An Imperial Guardsman can out fight a tower immediately. And they're just dudes with bayonets. Did they even get bayonets? Yeah, the Imperial Guardsman gets bayonets. The knives are using them. I mean, it doesn't help against the orcs, but... No, no, the orcs are big and mean and like fighting in melee. They have axes. They're like... <laughs> Come, nerd. What if you stab one in the throat? We'd probably die eventually. Eventually. Well, yeah, he'd still probably have enough blood left, left energy left in him to like, fucking cleave you in two. But, uh... We'll pull the knife out, and blood starts leaving him. Yeah. Got a thick neck. They're thicker than your knife? I, I don't know. I don't know the uh, how tall these guys, how thick these guys muscularly are, compared to just the average dude or the, you know how average long knife. the knives are. And yeah, it would it would make sense. It would wouldn't surprise me if the Imperial Guard, you know, had like subpar weapons or subpar. And these some kind of dark blue pair. He just hates black and green. He just doesn't like the color scheme. You know. It's not a good color scheme. He just didn't improve. He's like green and red. That's good. Green Wait, I got some less antelopes. Speaking of our life, but you're robot zombies. You don't have life. You're just robots. You're in a robot suit. I mean, just... beacons of unlife. Like, oh, like no. just not being alive. Here. I mean, you're already just. Um, you're basically you were supposed to replace the vampire guys, but not really. It was like half life. It was kind of half life. Because they can't actually have real magic or undead or things in this universe. I mean, they just. I mean, apparently in a universe where the soul is determined by genetics, because I guess they don't know how souls work. Well, I mean, like, I thought the kind of whole point of a soul was it was not genetic. That's like. It, 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 that's it, like. That's like what makes a soul a soul. It's not something that's biological, it's not something that's fleshy. I mean, that's the point. That's like what a soul is defined as. I mean, uh, the war. Actually, Sean, how you look it up online? What's the soul? Define it. Let's define it. Alright, I'll define it. I have my magic fun of justice. Well, let's see if we're the dumb ones. I'm sure a soul is an actual word. I'd be surprised. I, I, I will be kind of funny. It will be kind of funny, though, if a soul is not like a real word. No, I don't hate Warhammer, but people might get that impression. This is gonna sound weird, but I don't hate Warhammer. I hate everything about in Warhammer. Like, I hate... Like, I have... See, there's, for me, there's some very particular things holding back Warhammer. Orcs. Just everything about them. I like the orcs, but everything about them is not... Is not the tone that Warhammer tried to set. Okay, so Terrible Writing 101 is when you have a tone, the first thing you want to do is not have a countertone. Uh, the soul is the incorporeal essence of a living being, which means it is a non-bodily thing. So, okay, so here's the thing. It's, just, it's as simple as this, right? Which means it cannot when be connected, you, no, it can't be connected to the body. Talking about the worst now. When you set a tone, writing 101, when you set a tone for a story, for, in this case, Grimdark, the last thing you, you physically want to do is change the tone of the story. Making something that's supposed to be sad, not sad. For example. Taking something that's supposed to be violent and making it not violent. The very basic concepts here. So when you want something to be serious, the last thing you want to do is make the main antagonists of the series not serious. You cannot take these dudes seriously. They're not scaring. They're not serious. So they, the main enemies are a conflict of tone, which takes you out of the story. Let's, let's compare this to real life for just a moment. When you go to war with someone, 
you know, you're trying to kill them, they're trying to kill you. Even if it's, say, um, ideological genocide. Like the orcs. To define what orcs want to do it is ideological, ideological genocide. They want to kill everything that's not an orc until there's no not orcs, basically. Well, they want to kill everything, each other included, but their current unifying idea is they want to kill everything that's not an orc first. Because they, in reality, seem to be kind of racist. So, then, basically, right, genocide and violence and basically a unnatural hatred for everything, pretty, pretty serious in tone, but then the orcs are, they're the orcs. They're, that, they, they have a serious want and that they, what their goal belongs in a serious story, but they don't belong in a serious story. They don't belong. Th th that'd be like saying, like, um, it's almost like you take something as serious as the Nazis and the threat that the Nazis were to all of mankind, and then you make them Saturday morning cartoon villains while still trying to do the same thing they were trying to do before. Yeah. They start trying to ethnically purge every continent on Earth of everyone that's not even a, just a segment of their own population, because in the end they were planning on purging Germany as well, because only a small group of Germans were correct. They were planning on killing the rest of them. So they were planning on using But, but then, and then, the and then take something as serious as planetary ethnic cleansing, and in this case, universal ethnic cleansing, and then give them the orc to me. Yeah. You have to make sure a gets out of there, by the way. Like that? That you doesn't... Have to, you can't turn that off. Get Gorguts, you have to plant the bomb. Right there. Uh, that, and you have to run his ass away. Just him. Gorguts! You have to make it. Gorgots. You have to make it the orcs. Make sure he doesn't get stuck on the Wog. Wog your face. So yeah. That's right. Okay. Nob. What are you doing? You stop. You fight until you die. Not you, you fucking tard. You escape. Before the chronometron beacon. And be frozen into the stillness. But yeah, that's um. And that's not good. That's bad. It makes a bad story. Chaos, in the end, they wrote everything so grim and dark and mankind is so irredeemable. The chaos has already won because chaos is just so bold and vaguely defined. That's all violence, no matter what it is, no matter what the motivation is. It falls under corn, and he's evil. All change, no matter if it's good or bad, is zinch. All pleasure, no matter what kind it is, no matter what the preference is, what what it is, all disease belongs to yeah, belongs to Slanesh, and that all disease belongs to Nurgle. So they've already won. There's nothing anyone can do. There was never a fight. They had always won. Cause fighting makes them win. He's lying down and dying is the only way to stop them, and then they win anyways, because their goal is to kill you. Well, well, so well, well, then, they don't really need all the power, do they? They just need to stab you. They just need to exist. Yeah. And they're not going to stop existing. Because, you know what? Animals feel. Animals fight. And that's enough for corn. They can get sick and die. They can have pleasure. They can change. You know? All of that. That, that falls into all of them. They don't need you. Humanity could just stop existing, and there's just other races to take your place. You bugs, anything, anything, yep. uh, until everything ever, it just stops existing. There's just so many humans that, you know, there's, the Imperium's got so many people, they're just kind of a favorite, because it's everything they want. The Imperium's a broken machine that constantly tries to fight, uh, has a really top-heavy strata that enjoys all the luxuries in the universe. They have all these hive cities that have such densely packed people, they get every plague under the sun, and it's just, everything's constantly changing somehow, some way. Hey guys. I have Gorgut's land. Yeah, here it is. Hello! Have him walk himself. Cool bitch. 
walk his way right up. What, walk right up the side of that mountain. Thump, thump, thump. I just see him booking it like a thump, 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 thump. Robo legs. Wait, where'd that, where'd that tank come from? Mm. I, I didn't build one. Another one. Perhaps he just had them lying in reserve. To escape. Yeah. To look good. They're living our escaper. Look at stupid. He didn't notice the bomb. And it's right there. Literally right there. You just you were staring at it like the entire time. He literally all he had to do was walk there, up there. Oh, there's cans. Yeah. Build with computer start buttons. Dead not seem like an atomic bomb in the main, but some of them look better than others. Yeah. The houses look pretty cool. The essence of explosions. We're gonna shut up for this next one though. He didn't. I don't know why he's in pain. Yeah, I think he's in pain. All right, we will be quiet. Accustomed to the vilest of environments, Gorgut's orcs ran headlong into the gruesome catacombs of the Necrons. Although the deathless warriors reaped a massive bounty in orcish lives, for once it was they who were swept under a ceaseless tide as more and more of the green beasts poured into the caverns. When Gorguts detonated the massive explosive that brought down the caverns atop the Necrons, he left scores of his boys to be crushed. Nevertheless, the survivors cheered their boss, even laughing at the ruthlessness with which he had sacrificed their fellows. Gorguts' headhunter left the Thora Beast Plateau without any fresh skulls, but with the new appellation of Death Killer. He must be really proud of that one. Yeah, see, that's the, that's the problem. That's the problem with the orcs. They just didn't care. They haven't lost anything. They don't care. Which is just kind of a... Well, yeah. leaving it on that. We will see you all in the next part. Bye-bye.